Lake Waitaki Village in North Otago, built during the construction of the Waitaki Dam in the 1930s. These days the property includes a cafe and bar, a seven-bedroom lodge and eight three-bedroom houses. It was put on the market two years ago but with a $2.8 million price tag hasn't yet found a buyer. But that hasn't stopped it from making headlines across the world after The Guardian in the UK ran a story on the village yesterday. Since then it's been picked up by the South China Morning Post and covered by by the New York Times. Real estate agent Kelly Milmine told The Guardian there's been heaps of interest, including from foreign nationals and people wanting to set up a boutique farm or a communal living arrangement. But the sale of the property is complicated by the foreign buyer ban and local buyers balking at the high price. The village is considered the birthplace of New Zealand's social welfare system and at one point in the 1930s was home to 3,000 people. It lies about 7 kilometres from Kura on the Alps to Ocean Cycleway, the soon-to-be-completed part of the national network. Sitting on a 14-hectare property, the Lake Waitaki Village has a rateable value of $1.2 million. Owner Kevin Brooks says there's a range of options for potential buyers, including caravan parks, tent sites or subdividing. Now all that's needed is a buyer with deep pockets and a vision to breathe life back into a part of North Otago that's been sitting empty since the late 1980s in Waitaki, the South today.